Welcome back everybody, I'm Mr. Bigsy. Today I got a really special video for you today. They released 20 new cars into the game. I did get my hands on the very anticipated Lamborghini SVJ Aventador here. So uh, I did pick mine up in the auction house. There are some people that are getting them into the game and putting them on the auction house. I did get lucky enough to come across one and I purchased it right away. So uh, I did fully build it and it came out to 1560 horsepower which is insane so we're going to test it out today see how it does might try a little drift build with it too we're just going to have some fun with it today get some raw noise raw footage this thing is pretty awesome and i know a lot of people have been waiting for this to be in the game for even horizon 4 so it's been quite a while we've waited for this and it sounds very crisp And yeah, it builds a lot of power. I just want to take it on a high speed run here. I'm not going to say it's the fastest car in the game, but it's definitely going to be quite fast. This is the first time me trying any of this myself, so you're experiencing this with me. Really fast, off the line. I'm sure this could compete with a lot of cars. Handling is insane. This would be a great point to point car, road racing. Looks like 270 is pretty much all we're going to get. Tune is stock. Just change the gearing a little bit, but. Yeah, this thing does rip. Sure looks good too. About 270 is where it's capping out. Not many body upgrades. You can do the Forza body kit pretty much, which, uh, you know, the front splitter is okay, but I like this wing a lot better than the Forza wing. You cannot take the wing off either. All right, so I'm gonna just head into the upgrades and put some drift suspension on, see what this thing can do sideways. So with the Forza aero kit on it, it does get to X999. Mine's 997 right now. Pretty much maxed out though. So I'm just gonna see how this thing is stock. Okay, that was way too fast, totally. Stock tune on here, drift suspension. That reminds me, I did not put the drift, the drift uh, dip in. I'm not too bothered by that. A lot of control. I do like that. Okay, just threw a quick tune on there to see how this thing performs. Brennan really wants to pull it, but it's to be expected. Just like with any all-wheel drive drift, it's very easy to hold it. Get lots of angle. Point it in the direction you want to go, and it goes. Let's try that again. This thing sounds really good.
There we go. Definitely makes a pretty good drift car. I think this thing would pretty much be good at anything but rally. You know, probably even if you throw some rally suspension on it would do a good job. Thanks, Ferrari. So I'm gonna, in the next few days, I'm gonna try and get my hands on some of the other cars if people are adding those as well. I just know this is one of the fan favorites that they're adding. And it definitely is, is a good one. Jeez, that all-wheel drive smoke. Sure can blind someone behind you with that. Interior's nice. I think they're also adding the Huracan Evo, which is kind of cool. As far as I know, it's kind of like a Fumante, kind of performance-wise, but a little more sleek. Dry carbon, still everywhere. And it's got the same exhausts like this. So that'll be another cool one. I kind of want to try that one if I can get it. It's definitely not easy to come across these newer cars until they're out at least. This thing just shreds though. Oops. I'm really struggling with uh, the AI right now. I can't wait to get this, uh, you know what, let's just do it right now. I'm going to uh, send it down the volcano. Made a few more adjustments to the tune. I'm going to give it the full test here and send it downhill. Like back end should kick out a little more now. Well, that's quite a bit. Definitely has the power to chain these. A lot of control. You know, and I had a thought about the later boards in this game. You know, it seems like a common thing in the new Fours and Horizons. They're good for a while, and then people start to take over with the glitches and stuff. Well, they're not maybe quick glitches, but it's just not realistic, the scores that they're getting. And you're having to bobsleigh down the, down the hill. I mean, it's just inaccurate. I wish they had a filter between rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive and, you know, no rewind. Stuff like that would make the leaderboards a lot more competitive. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or if you guys like how they're set up. That's just my personal opinion. 
would bring the excitement back into grinding these PR stunts. Oh, just hanging it on the edge. Yeah, you just point this thing where you want to go, and it goes. See if I can chain this. It's a bit of a reach. Not quite. Oh, bring it back. Yeah, this is quite a bit of fun. I'm excited for the release of all these cars. And I'm glad they're going to be doing this, you know, frequently, kind of, you know, releasing some new cars. Cars that'll be a little bit faster than the ones we have, and we'll keep it fresh. It won't just be uh, the same top speed car, and everyone uses the same car, and there is no overtaking it. It gets boring after a while. No promises that this pack is going to have cars that are faster than any other ones that we have right now, but maybe in the future. I would love to see an F30, F80 in the game. They don't seem to have any modern 3 Series or M3s. Anyways, I'm very impressed with how this thing handled on the, on the volcano, but... You know, it is an all-wheel drive build. Not the hardest thing to drift. Anyways, I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of a special one. Um, being able to see early access it with this car. Let me know what you guys think of this car. If you're excited to use this or if you're excited for another car that they're going to be releasing. Maybe I can try and get my hands on that. I'm super excited for, I think it's the Aventador J has no roof at all. I feel like that's going to be a pretty fast car. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.